Hi guys, in this video we will see the programming part of Collides Conjecture. This is the last screencast of week 12 and last screencast of me also. <laughs> uh, so it, it has been a nice journey. Uh, let's see the last program, it's a very simple program of Collides Conjecture. Let me review the conjecture once again. So what you have to do given a number n, you have to every time you have to check whether if n is uh, an even number then you divide it by 2 that means that n becomes n by 2 and if it is an uh, odd number then you have to do n is equal to 3n plus 1 so you repeat it every time until and unless uh, until n becomes 1 and the point is you have to check whether it is, is it possible to make any number uh, uh, 1 using these methods so this is this was the conjecture actually and we we can see it through a program whether uh, can we do it with any number or not so i will create a definition in python and you can supply any number as an argument to this function and you can check whether we can achieve one or not so let's see this so as i told you i will create a definition so let me write it here uh, okay. Okay. So my definition name will be check num. An argument is a number num. Let's say. Okay. I'll check how many iterations I want. So for that, I'll keep a variable iterations as initially as one. Now what I have to check every time, I have to do two operations. One is if n is uh, an even, even number then I have to reduce it, divide it by 2 and if it is an odd number then I have to make it 3n plus 1. So until it becomes 1. So my checksum should be, my check should be, let me put the while loop, while num is not equal to 1. Uh, until it is, it doesn't become one. I have to do these operations every time. Okay, so until n num uh, doesn't become one is not equal to one. I'll check first if num is uh, num mod two is equal equal to zero, which means that I'm checking whether it fully divides this number fully divides by 2 or not if it divides then it means it is an even number so what i have to do if it is an even even number then num my number becomes number i can write like this also num divided by 2 okay and i will just make it as an integer because you know when you divide a number uh, it becomes a float number floating point number it doesn't matter here but still okay and yeah since it is an even number it will divide by 2 and uh, I'll just make my iteration plus 1 iterations plus equal to 1 and else if it is not an even number then what I have to do num is equal to num num into 3 plus 1 isn't it and again I will I will increase my iterations uh, value by 1 okay okay after this it means that loop has been executed successfully after that I will just print my number what is what what is my num after all these iterations and what are my iterate how many iterations it took to become one of course it will print one just to take check if num is becoming one or not and this iteration will tell me how many iterations it took to uh, finally reach one okay so my definition is complete i will just run it 
check num let's say 12 great i'll just run it okay you can see the output 1 and 10 it becomes 1 it is becoming 1 and after 10 iterations let me put 20 let's see it is becoming 1 after 8 iterations so you can check various numbers and see whether yeah it is becoming 1 after 11 uh, iterations so this is it uh, this was the program there is nothing much to do it was a very basic program just to just to show you how the conjecture behaves actually you can read about the conjecture um, on, online and so this program was just to show you there are limitations of computing also it has been a nice journey with you guys in joy of computing course we hope we'll meet again in some other course uh, let's see this thank you everyone have a nice day